Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So since moving into this new house, I haven't really done like any type of proper organization in my bathroom area for a good reason. We are renovating my entire bathroom. And so when I moved in, I was like, you know what? I don't really wanna go too crazy on the organization. I don't wanna buy things because I'm changing everything anyway and I don't know what my organization needs are gonna be once we actually renovate. So I'm just going to throw everything in there, not to really think too much about it. It's been seven months, we haven't done a thing. I don't know when we are going to start renovating. So I'm kind of over living in an unorganized mess in my bathroom. I'm ready to organize it. Even if it's temporary, even though things are changing, I don't care. I do actually have a little renovation update, which I'll include later in the video. Um, I did get something in and it's the only thing that I got in for this reno and it gets me so excited. All of my fixtures from Brizzo, they are so beautiful and I just cannot wait to see what they're gonna look like in the final space. Right now they're just sitting in a box waiting for me, but I'll show you guys what they look like a little bit later on. Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> Oh, we have a guest here, Mr. Augustus. I didn't think you would make a feature in this video, but you wanted to be on camera, you couldn't help it. Let me bring you into my bathroom and show you what, what we're working with. You don't really have to go far to find my bathroom because it is literally a part of my, of my bedroom. This is part of the reason why we do want to renovate because we're just not a huge fan of this open concept bathroom situation. It's not so ideal for us, but that's besides the point. So this vanity, as well as this storage thing is what we're gonna be going through today. So this is the first drawer. Um, and as you can see, there is zero organization here. Everything is everywhere. And every time I open up this drawer, I like get a little bit anxious. And then here we have the second drawer. Um, also just filled with product. Inside here, I also have a bunch of products and I think we're gonna be doing a lot of decluttering of these products because a lot of them have just kind of been sitting here for a little bit too long and I'm just gonna go ahead and donate the ones that I'm not using. So first things first, I'm gonna just take everything out of this first drawer. Okay, so I have separated everything into different categories. I didn't really get rid of that much stuff because this is a lot of my most used stuff, which is why it's in my vanity. So I just instead separated everything just so that when I reorganize it, it's all obviously in the right place. So we have all of my face stuff, all of my hair stuff. This stuff I am getting rid of. We have a Lululemon dry shampoo and a Lululemon deodorant. This is the Brio Geo Curl Charisma gel. I just don't really love this stuff. This moisturizer from Skin Fix, one of my favorites, the Barrier Plus. It's completely finished, so I just gotta get rid of it. First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, also finished. Special super floss. <laughs> if you have like a wire behind your teeth or braces, I did have a wire behind my teeth, but I don't anymore, um, so I don't need these, so I'm gonna get rid of them. So now that I have everything separated and Gus is sniffing absolutely everything, <laughs> now I gotta figure out how I wanna organize it in these drawers. So I'm in my laundry room right now. I would like to avoid purchasing more containers because I already have so many. So these are all of my extra bins and containers, and I'm hoping I'll be able to use these guys instead of having to buy more. I'm gonna take a couple of these to the bathroom and see if I can make it work. Okay, I'm gonna use this bin for my hair products. Oh wait, that's actually perfect. Okay, I'm gonna separate my skincare products into different categories just so things are easier to find. So I'm gonna try and put just my serums in this guy. Perfect. I have these very long and narrow bins, so I think I'm gonna put my cleansers in this one. It's actually working out perfectly. I have a lot of hand cream, so I'm gonna put all of them in this little shower bin. And this is gonna be some body care products. So 
So between the two drawers, this drawer is, I would say like the better drawer. There's just a lot more room. This one is a little bit more narrow and awkward. So I'm gonna put the majority of the products in the bottom drawer. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. Wait a second, we'll close. No. Okay, so that's another problem is some of the products are too high for this drawer. So I am gonna have to lie them down. Gus, no, no, Gus, Gus, get out of there. Gus is in the sink. <laughs> this actually turned out so good. How is it that all of the products fit in one drawer? My entire top drawer right now is empty. There's nothing in it. Why haven't I done this like, I don't know, months ago? All right, so here we have all of my hair products, which fit perfectly in this bin. This guy has some of my body care products and also a body brush. Here I put my three body moisturizers. We have my Kopari, the Josie Marin, and then this is actually a Sicily hair mask. Okay, here we have all of my hair stuff. I put my clips and scrunchies, headband, my little uh, clear elastics. I also put my bobby pins in here, which will hopefully stop me from losing them. Then I put all of my hair brushes in this bin. Then these are my serums, cleansers, and masks, and that's everything for this drawer. Okay, I'm very pleased with this end result. I'm glad that Gus is now out of the bag. <laughs> so now that this is pretty much completely filled with product and I have this drawer that's completely empty, I feel like my world just opened up. What can I put in here now? Okay, I think in here, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just gonna put the things that um, are not beauty related that I still need storage for. For example, I have an extra toothbrush head which I put over here. My toothpaste. I also have some extra razor blades. Double-sided tape. Just random. I guess I might as well also put some of my hand creams in here. Last but not least, I have my travel size products here. And I do like to separate them in a little bag just so that they're all in one place. And when I'm packing to travel, it's e they're easy to find. He approves. So I'm just gonna put this back here for now. This guy has some tampons, put that right there. I also have a very large body brush and a scalp massager, so I'll put that in here too. I have a random gel top coat, which I sometimes use when I wanna add some extra shine to my nails it's right here with the hand cream. So actually, this drawer filled up nicely. I mean, it's not stuff like it was before, which is what we want. Now definitely a place for everything. I'm very pleased. Oh, last thing, floss. Yay. Okay, now it's time to do some good old fashioned decluttering. All these bins hold extra hair care, body care, and some skincare products. So we are going to go through each bin one by one and start decluttering, separating things. Most of these products were sent to me in PR, so there's a lot here that are completely unused. And I think that there's a lot of opportunity here to donate. So I'm gonna start off by separating this into keep and donate categories. So let's start off with the products that I'm gonna be keeping. We have the Skin Fix with Surface Plus AHA Renewing Cream. This is really great for KP or any bumps on the skin. And then I also have the AHA BHA Enzyme Exfoliating Pads, which is really great for more like targeted chemical exfoliation on the body. Also keeping the Josie Marin Hydrating Natural Glow Argon Liquid Gold Self Tanning Oil. This is one of my favorite tanning oils. I don't self tan that often, but when I do, I really like to go for this one. Very natural looking. It doesn't smell really bad and it's just like a really easy to use tan oil so definitely keeping that also keeping this Josie Marin pure argon milk intensive hydrating treatment I love this for before makeup I honestly don't know why this is in here also keeping the Amica the cure bond repair shampoo love this this is an extra one the Kapari pink souffle body mask I haven't tried this yet but this sounds so Interesting to me. I've never tried a body mask before so I think I'm gonna keep this out put in my shower and try this out later today I had like 
three of the KP uh, smoothing body lotions from First Aid Beauty. Definitely don't need three, so I'm keeping one. I love a body oil, so I'm keeping the Keys body oil, a backup of my Dermalogica Microfoliant, one of my favorite products. I go through this like crazy. And this Orbe uh, Desert Land Restorative Body Cream. I actually love putting Orbe products in my guest bathroom. It just makes it feel very luxe. So I'm actually gonna bring this to my guest bathroom and put that in there for guests in case they ever wanna moisturize their hands and feel nice and bougie. As for the products that I'm getting rid of, these are the ones that I'm going to be donating because they're completely unused. Two of the KP Smoothing Body Lotions, the Kopari Organic Coconut Melt, and then the products that I'm giving away to friends and family because they are lightly used. This is the Laura Mercier Body and Bath Amber Vanilla Souffle Body Cream. I really don't like this. This is very heavily scented. Normally, I love like an amber vanilla scent, but this is almost sickly sweet, so it's just not my favorite. I gotta give that one away. Uh, I have the Keys Rich Nourishing Body Cream and the Goop Jeans Nourishing Repair Body Butter. These are both fine products, but there's just only so much body butter that one person can have. And I'm also getting rid of the Biosauce 100% Squalane Oil. Um, I've used this a couple times and I just don't feel that this really does anything special for me. I've tried to use it in a lot of different ways and I'm just kind of not that excited about this product. And then I am throwing out this native coconut vanilla deodorant. It is very, very old and pretty much done. And then this Indie Lee Jasmine bath salt. I actually hate this. The scent is so nauseating to me and so I'm rarely able to use it. And then beyond that, it's really old. It's like all stuck to the bottom. So I don't know, I'm, ju I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm not gonna put everything back right away. I'm actually gonna put it aside and categorize it. And then at the end, I will actually separate things into different categories so that it's actually organized nice this time. Next bin. So I'm keeping a lot in this basket because I have a lot of backups in here. For example, I have a whole other set from the Kerastase Chroma Absolute line, which is one of my favorites. It's what I'm currently using in my hair for my shampoo and conditioner. So I have the conditioner, a mask, shampoo, the deep conditioner, and I'm saving these for when I run out, which will actually probably be pretty soon. I'm also keeping these got to be products. This is the glued blasting free spray, spiking glue, and styling spiking glue. These are basically the same product, so I think I'm actually just going to give this one to a friend of mine who uses this all the time, because I just don't need two. One of my go-to products for when I do my slick back look, they are very intense, they will make your hair rock hard. I do have more Kerastase products. This is from the Curl line though. I have two of the leave-in treatments, which I love. It's one of my favorites. And then this is the replenishing conditioner and the second day curl refreshing spray. This is actually a pretty good curl refreshing spray. I actually find that it does a really good job of reviving my curls. So I do really like it. Gus is literally just looking at me from across the room like, what is this girl doing? <laughs> I have two backups for SkinCeuticals products. This is the retexturizing activator and the gel phyto corrector, two of my faves. Bumble and Bumble Bond Building Repair line. Uh, this is the styling cream, the treatment, the thermal protection mist, and the shampoo. I have a massive, massive bottle. It's literally the size of my head of the Pattern Medium Conditioner. I do really like this. It's a very, very heavy conditioner, so I don't use it that often, but I do like it, especially when I wear my hair curly, which is exactly what this is meant for. Also got the Amica The Cure Intense Bond Repair Mask as well as the Multitask Repair Treatment. I really love this line. If you have damaged hair, this is a great, great line to try out. Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Primer, another one of my favorite products to prep my hair with. It's really good for literally everything. It softens, detangles, helps with frizz. It does help with heat protection as well. And so this is a must have for me. Pureology Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the Day Prickly Pear Hair Oil. I'm actually not obsessed with this hair oil. I don't find that it's amazing, but I still have a lot left and it's fine enough. I'm just gonna finish the bottle. Two Orbe products. This is the Tray Set Structure Spray and a little mini version of the Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. I actually found out the other day that I've been using the Tray Set Structure Spray completely wrong and I really did not like the product because I was using it so wrong. I thought that you spray this in your hair when it was dry and I was wondering why my hair was so heavy and so crunchy after using it and you're not supposed to put this in when it's dry and I don't know why I didn't realize that. It literally says it right here, spray onto damp hair. It's a really awesome product, especially if you want like hold volume and texture to your hair. Um, you put it in when it's damp and you blow dry it and it gives your hair so much volume and it really holds. Now for the products that I'm not gonna be keeping, I have this Orbe Run Through Detangling Shampoo. I'm not going to be keeping this because my hair is not tangly. I don't have that problem, so I'm just gonna 
give this to a friend. I have the Bumble and Bumble uh, moisturizing shampoo and conditioner for curly hair. Just not a fan of this stuff, so I'm gonna give this away. IGK Legendary Dream Hair Conditioner. I'm gonna donate that guy. Okay, on to the next bin. Let's first start off actually with the products that I'm not going to be keeping. To keep this really simple, I'm not keeping the entire Joyco Moisture Recovery line here. I tried this and I really just didn't love it. I didn't feel like it did anything special to my hair. I also have the Joyco Joy Whip Firm Hole Design Foam and Curl Confidence Defining Cream. I was really excited to try both of these, but again, they just really didn't do much for my curls, so I'm just not a fan. I am going to be donating this curl line from L'Oreal. This is the Curl Expression Curl Line, simply because as you can see, I have a lot of shampoo and conditioner. I just have a lot of hair products in general. There's only so much that I can use and try, even though I'm curious about this because I have so many things already that I need to try I I just rather donate this so that's what I'm gonna do These two guys are actually empty this is the Orbe dry texturizing spray one of my faves and the IGK beach club texture spray between the two in case you're wondering I do prefer the Orbe one I have two whey products here that I'm gonna be getting rid of I wanted to like these so badly but they're just not that great I find this is the whey rose hair and body oil this is another okay oil it's not incredible but it's not terrible and then I have the whey matte pomade I've had this for years and I still haven't really fully figured out how to use this for my hair type. When it comes to adding texture to hair, this is not my favorite way to add texture. I find that this just kind of makes the hair a little bit sticky and it feels really heavy. I much prefer using something like the Orbe texturizing spray. This is just not, not so good for me. Now as for the products that I'm going to be keeping, more SkinCeuticals backups. These are both eye creams. This is the Age Complex eye cream and the AOX Eye Gel. Kerasas Fresh Affair Dry Shampoo, one of my favorite dry shampoos. The Orbe Curl Control Silkening Cream. I honestly totally forgot about this product and I really wanna revisit it with the techniques that I currently use for my curls because I think when I first started using this, I didn't really know what I was doing. Another Orbe product, Imperial Blowout Transformative Styling Cream. Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. R & Co Balloon Dry Volume Spray. 1-800 Hold Me No Crunch Flexible Hold Hairspray from IGK. This is a really nice lightweight hairspray. This is a salt spray from Kerasas. I'm actually not going to keep this. Um, I realized right in this moment that I don't like salt sprays. I don't find that it works well for my hair type and it just dries out my hair. My hair is already really dry. Mini version of the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. Love keeping the minis for travel. More Kerasas curl products. This is the Amika Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. I haven't tried this yet, so I'm looking forward to trying this out. Pureology 21 Essential Benefits Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. This spray is supposed to have 21 benefits. It primes, protects, and perfects. It's a real multitasker spray. I've actually used this for years and I do really enjoy it, so I'm definitely keeping it. And then last but not least, we have the Kerasas uh, Elixir Ultime and this is a hair oil. And I actually really like this hair oil. This is one of the few hair oils that I find really does make a difference in my hair. We have two more bins and then we are done. So I'm just gonna go through them together. Getting rid of most things here. I'm going to be donating all of these Drunk Elephant hair products. I have the shampoo, the conditioner, uh, this is the Mega Moisturizing Masker. Haven't tried these. They've kind of just been sitting in my storage for a while. As you can see, there's already so many products that I have to go through and test. I'm just not super interested in this line, so I'm just going to donate it. I have this Malin and Getz Face Cleanser. Super random. I'm going to donate that. IGK Legendary Dream Hair Shampoo. Matches the conditioner that I'm already giving away, so I'm going to donate it. For your microfoam cleanser, donating that as well. Just don't need it. A bunch of products here from IGK. This is the Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. The No Limit Dry Volume and Thickening Spray. Big Time Volume and Thickening Mousse. And I'm giving all of these away. This is the Dry Bar The Kicker Finishing Spray Wax. Not a fan of this. This is a really strange product. It literally is a spray wax, so it's very, very heavy very sticky. I just don't find I have a lot of use for this. Youth to the People Super Clay Purify and Clear Power Mask. This is just way too drying for me. And then as for the products that I'm keeping, we have the Amika Hydro Rush Shampoo and Conditioner. These are products that I'm actually really excited to try out. Backup of my Curl Manifesto Shampoo from Kerasas. This is also another hair oil that I really like. This is the Kerasas Curl Manifesto Oil. Let me show you the final results. Here's everything we're getting rid of. And this is everything that I'm keeping. So now it's time to reorganize them back into their bins.
Hello, so some time has passed since organizing my bathroom. I realized that I never got around to showing you guys um, the updates for my reno and for the bathroom. So like I said, I got all of my fixtures from Brizzo in. I just feel like they're such a tease because staring at these fixtures makes me want my renovated bathroom immediately. <laughs> like my patience level went down to zero. So let's just kind of rewind a little bit. I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about my renovation and what exactly the plan is, just so you can get an overall vision of what we're gonna be going for. We really didn't wanna go for a bathroom that was too stark or white. I wanted something that would stand the test of time that was on the earthier side. And that also had some unique features to it as well, but that were still, features that I can see myself loving like five years from now. And listen, I'm a Gemini and it changed my mind a lot. So this is difficult. And honestly, it's actually good that this is taking such a long time to get started because I am still really in love with our design choices. And it's been almost a full year since we started designing this. So the fact that I'm still a really big fan of all of these choices actually gives me some comfort in knowing that we're making good choices. So we're leaning towards an earthy green granite for the vanity. I actually found, I would say like the perfect granite for this vanity. I'm thinking when it comes down to it, we might change our mind. I'm not 100% sure yet, but this is really our original idea. And I'm pretty sure it's what we're gonna end up going for. But if it's not gonna be the green, it's just gonna be another earth tone. And then for the cabinets, we're actually gonna do something very similar, this like white oak finish. And then for the shower, this is the general vibe. Again, really earthy, very calming and simple. Um, we're thinking of either doing tile like this or Tadelect. Both options would be really, really pretty. And then imagine all of these finishes with black fixtures. So we ended up going with the Brizzo and Jason Wu collection because they were pretty much exactly what we were looking for. So let me show you a couple of the things that we ended up picking up. So for the shower, um, for the handles, I really wanted to go for these cross handles because I feel like they're slightly more unexpected. I often see either just round handles or levers and there are two levers in the design as well, but I really wanted this guy to be kind of like the main focal point. So this is gonna be going right in the middle and then we have the lever on both sides. So there's gonna be one here and one here. For the shower head, we went for the Rain Can shower head and it is massive. I feel like this is really the perfect size for a shower head. It's not too big, not too small because when they're too big, I find the pressure of the shower isn't strong enough. And when they're too small, you just don't get as much coverage. <laughs> so I really love the size of this. For the vanity, we decided to go for handles that are gonna be installed on the wall like this. And then of course the spout is gonna be in, in the center. I've never had wall mounted handles before. I just feel like it's so fancy and cool. I'm so excited to see how it's gonna look. And this is what I like to call the piece de resistance. It is the most exciting <laughs> fixture of the mall. I don't even want to take it completely out of its packaging because I do not want to damage it, but it is the tub filler. Look at this beauty. I just love for this entire collection how minimal and sleek everything is. I find that it just gives this really, really high-end look, especially because it is a matte black finish. Gus loves it too. <laughs> so excited about this guy. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see what this is gonna look like. So those are all of my Brizzo fixtures. I'm so excited. And we did decide to go with Brizzo, mainly because my interior designer that we're working with really highly recommended them. Beyond that, I love their design. I love so many of their collections. It was actually kind of hard to choose which one we wanted to go for, but because we wanted the matte black, the Jason Wu collection was perfect because that's one of their only collections that do have that matte black finish. So anyways, this is something to look forward to, but I'm excited to bring you guys along on the process. Okay, we are going into my second bedroom now and it is a disaster. I'm just uh, letting you know right now. There's really no rhyme or reason to this room. It's essentially just a dumping ground for furniture that has no place at the moment. Like this is my old bed that we need to put into storage. We just haven't done it yet. I have a desk here that needs to be put into storage at my piano a exercise bike. And so this room in and of itself, I feel like I wanna do a whole makeover with. I don't even know what I want to use this room for. It's a good problem to have for sure, but I wanna figure out an awesome use for this space because it is a really awesome space, but that will come in time. But the most exciting thing in this room, besides the Brizzo fixtures, which are right over here, is this gorgeous table. So this is our custom dining room table. I never really thought I would ever make a custom table because I just thought it would be way too expensive, but it turns out it's actually a very similar price when you compare it to finished products and you get exactly what you want, which is really cool. So this over here is actually just the base for our custom table. The marble slab is gonna be coming in 
at the end of the month, but how stunning is the base of this table? It's in walnut. I don't wanna say I designed it because there really wasn't much to design, but I did specify exactly what I wanted. I really wanted these like kind of triangle legs. I just feel like it's really beautiful, slightly more retro looking, which is very much our style. So imagine the space with this marble on top. I'll put, I'll put a photo over here so you guys can see. It's gonna be unreal. It's gonna be so beautiful. I cannot wait to see the finished product. We're also cutting it in an elongated oval shape. So that's gonna be really beautiful. And I just cannot wait to see it all come together. And that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this bathroom reorganization. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts in the comments and hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video. And what should we organize next? I kind of wanna do my kitchen, which is right behind me. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. Bye.